uh, example seven here. Uh, so you're asked to estimate how long will it take for four meter thick clay layer that is draining on one side to reach 60% consolidation. So this problem is similar to uh, example four and five in the sense that you're given the average degree consolidation U and from which you can get T sub V from table of 11.7 .7, and then you can calculate the time T here. And the difference here is instead of directly giving um, directly giving you the uh, coefficient consolidation, you are given a consolidation test data from the lab, which consists of initial effective stress, final effective stress, and the corresponding uh, void ratio in the permeability here. So we're going to use this um, lab test data to calculate coefficient of consolidation. And once we have the coefficient of consolidation, then we can just follow what we did, for example, on 4 and 5 to figure out the time. So we'll start with the, um, to figure out the coefficient of consolidation. So I'm going to make use of this expression here. C sub V, coefficient of consolidation, is related to the hydraulic conductivity K and the coefficient of volume compressibility MV and also the unit weight of water. So small k is given as 0.61 times 10 to negative 4 meter per day. And then the unit weight of water in the SI unit is 9.81 kilonewton per meter cube. So the key is to find this coefficient of compressibility MV. So coefficient of compressibility, of volume compressibility, MV here. So MV is related to the coefficient of compressibility A sub V over one plus E average. And this A sub V is defined as the change in void ratio delta E over the change in effective stress delta sigma prime, which is the same as delta sigma, over 1 plus e, AV. Okay. So from the lab consolidation test, we know delta E is uh, E naught, or yeah, it's E naught minus EF, 1.22 minus point. 9.8, this is 0.24, and delta sigma um, prime is the same as delta sigma, and this is 400 minus 200, this is 200 kilonewton per meter square. Now for the average void ratio in the equation, uh, we're going to use the average of the initial and the final. E naught plus EF. So this is, um, if you plug in EF and E naught, so 1 over 2, um, 1.22 minus 0.98, so that's 1.1. Okay. And if you substitute these values into coefficient of volume compressibility equation, you end up with MV of point, oops, MV of point oh 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 five seven. The unit is meter square per kilonewton. And then the um, coefficient of consolidation C of V is point six one times ten to negative four over MV, which is 0. 0.00057 times the unit weight of water, 9.81. So this gives us um, CV of 0. 0.0109 kilo, uh, meter square per day. Oops. 
0.1109 meter square per day. Okay. So now we have the coefficient of consolidation and to calculate the time, so we start from a given uh, target the average degree of consolidation yield of 60%. And then from table 11.7. Okay, if you look at this table 11.7, for U of 60%, the corresponding time factor T sub V is 0 0.29286. So T sub V of 60% is 0.286. I'll recall the definition of the time factor. T sub V is coefficient of consolidation CV times time T over the square of maximum drainage distance, HDR square. So from this, we can, uh, this definition, we can calculate time T corresponding to 60% degree of consolidation is going to be 0.286 times uh, HDR, which in this case is 4 square over coefficient consolidation C sub V 0 0.0109. So a couple of things to uh, pay attention to here. First, uh, for this single drainage uh, case, this maximum drainage distance HDR is the thickness of the clay layer, which in this case is four meter. And the second uh, place to pay attention to is make sure you are using consistent unit when you are doing this calculation. So if you work out those numbers, uh, the time T uh, for 60% degree consolidation is about 419 Point eight days, and this approximates for twenty days.